Hey, how, uh, how important was, how important was the game was tonight? I know San Jose State, it's mm -hmm. not the same as San Diego State, but how important was it? I mean, every game we play in this Mountain West is important because we know how competitive this conference is. Um, we know how well prepared teams are, and uh, we got to be ready from the jump every single day. And uh, you know, San Jose is a great team. You know, they're going to win you know multiple games this year. So, um, you know, they're a well coached, well um, you know well oiled team. So, I mean, we're just getting ready to, for Boise State now. So, it's three in a row for you, reaching twenty points. Five of your last six, you reached twenty. What uh, what changed about five or six games ago? I don't know. Maybe not what changed, but why have you been so Locked in those five or six games. Nothing changed. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say on that one. Nothing changed. So I mean, the mid range is still dropping like crazy. I mean, nobody's even taking the shots you're taking. Um, I, I guess my question is because I've asked you before why, you know, how it came about. Your dad taught you, you know, you've always been a mid range guy. But um, I guess my question is during the game. Do you ever notice that guys just aren't used to even defending players taking that shot? Like, if you start driving from the three-point line, it's mm -hmm. almost like I see him turning around to the rim. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only other place you can shoot, and then you just pull it up, and they're not used to it. Yeah. Do you notice that? I do. I I do. I mean, the mid range is a lost art in today's game, um, and it's a it's a it's a forgotten art. And I mean, and it's an open shot if you can perfect it, because you know teams are gonna. I mean, you know defenders are you know kind of at their mercy. They gotta they gotta run in and get to the help, and then I'm stopping on a dime so quickly that it's just hard to guard. And um, you know that's that's how it's pretty much been my whole career. You know, ever ever since I played. You know, ever since I started. You know, training in that area. Um, and then I just, you know, and then obviously I got you know, get creative with it the older I get and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, it's something that I've worked on, you know, and, and worked on in the gym for hours and hours and hours. So, yeah. How do you guys feel like you held them defensively tonight? Like in the first half, 26% of the field with their shot, and then 34% is what they finished with out of 62 shots. Mm -hmm. I think um, we did a good job of contesting. Um, you know, they, they, they can really shoot the ball. You know, they're a team that really gets a lot of threes up. But um, we did a great job of getting to shooters and contesting them, make them a little bit uncomfortable. So if they were a 40% three-point shooter, our contest made it you know, probably a 32% shot. So um, I think we did a good job on that end. Mash, I know the coaches were mic'd up for the game tonight. I'm just curious, what would it be like if they actually mic'd up you and Jalen? Like, what would we hear? I mean, I think, wow, that would be funny. I mean. We should do it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, House will have a lot more to say to me, for sure. Um, you know, because he's just so animated, you know, so energetic and, ha and brings so much energy to the game. Um, you know, me, you know what I'm saying? This is just going to be something simple. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just getting the guys going, you know, just it's going to be something simple. You probably want to hear more from him, though. So. I, I noticed he was talking to Cardin Cardinus the entire time, but he does that with a lot of guys. You guarded him in practice. What is, what is he saying in those moments? Man, he's, he's doing anything to get in your head anything uh using anything that he can whether it be your shoes on tight or you know what i'm saying your hair messed up whatever he can to get in your head you know he's going to use it um and he's so active defensively that um it's tough to go against so um that's, that's a big advantage that we have you know with him you know doing that um, to other players and i think it definitely works to some degree so yeah friday nine o'clock tip how does that late start kind of just mess with your pregame rhythm not at all i mean we just got to adjust i mean i think uh you know, it is, it is a late game, but, you know, I stick to my same routine every time. So, um, and uh, I know the guys, you know, we all stick to our, our normal routine, just push it probably a little, you know, two hours back than it normally is. So, um, it's no no adjustment there, just doing the same routine. Their team has been pretty good defensively all year. Um, they've been good defensively inside. You guys played in the 24 twos tonight. Mm -hmm. I know the three wasn't following you guys, but the three's not a big part of your guys' game anyway. Um, were you guys able to do something that you saw on film that other teams weren't able to do, or was it just that that's just your game, you're going to do it regardless of who you're playing? That's just us. I mean, that's just when we go into games, I think we just – we, we definitely just try to be ourselves because it's got us this far. Um, and, you know, we don't try to, I mean, obviously we take from what other teams do scouting wise with, with defenses and offense and stuff like that. But if we're us and we're, we're, we're being ourselves and our, our individual selves and bring that together, um, I know we have a great team and I think we'll continue to be on this run, so. And then Mo, I know I talked, mentioned to you earlier about three in a row for you in terms of hitting 20 and all that, but like Mo's now three double-doubles in a row, four or something like that. Mm -hmm. He's had seven this year. Mm -hmm. He had a double-double almost by halftime. Mm -hmm. He just needs to score more. He had three rebounds already. But what kind of zone do you see him in right now where he's, he's just doing it on the board as much as this? 
I mean, he's attacking. He's attacking. We need him to be um, aggressive at all costs when he gets the ball in that low post because, um, honestly, dudes can't guard him. So um, I think, you know, if we, he just stays aggressive and, you know, stays in that aggressive mentality, he'll continue to rack up those double-doubles, which he's capable of doing every single night. So he, we definitely need that from him going forward in these bigger games. The last one for me is Boise State won earlier tonight, so they're, they're tied. Who they're tied? They're tied. They're tied. Okay. So they're tied for first place right now. They're a five and one, same San Diego State, a five and one. So you're playing just like Saturday night. You're playing another team that's right now in first place. It's going to be a big game. Um, how quickly do you need to kind of just forget about this one and start focusing on that one? And, and what do you expect out of that? Uh, forget about it right now. Um, I think right now we got to uh, just flush it away. It was a good win, but, you know, we got to go back to the drawing board because Boise State got us at our place last year, and we only played them once. So um, we're going to be really locked in for that one. And, uh, you know, we're, they're, they're a great team, and, and we're also a great team, so I think it's going to be a good one. So. Just real quick, playing that off, Jeff mentioned the uh, three point shots tonight. You guys were open some in the first half, didn't hit so KJ in the second. Mm -hmm. Is it just one of those nights things kind of work for well? Uh, I would say so. I mean, I think um, we don't try to focus on, you know, how many threes we take or how many, you know, that we kind of just let those come. And today they're just they just weren't knocking down. At, uh, but, you know, we were able to figure it out and get the win. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You think you fouled a bunch and hit a three free throws. That was twice, right? Yeah. It's a twice. Yeah. There's only one steal, though. For real? Wow. I mean, I usually had a stat sheet right here, but damn, I can't even see. I know. Yeah. I get better at that. Oh, here we go. Thank you. No, nah, I'm just playing. So, I don't need it. <laughs> the only other thing is uh, Jamal had 20, Jalen had 20. That's the seventh oh, yeah. time in the last 40 years. Eight is the most it's ever happened. So we're getting close to that. Yeah, we'll get that. Anything else for Mr. Mashburn Jr.? All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks.